Driverless cars will transport people through the streets of Milton Keynes from 2015 in the biggest test yet of the futuristic vehicles in Britain. Vince Cable, the business secretary, announced that 20 of the vehicles will travel on special pathways separated from pedestrians around the Buckinghamshire town's shopping centre. By mid-27, it is planned that 100 fully autonomous cars will be in operation, sharing pathways with pedestrians and equipped with sensors to avoid collisions. But Heathrow's Terminal 5 has been running a personal rapid transit system for business passengers from the car park to the terminal for more than two years. Could the ultra-PRT system at Heathrow be the model for urban transportation in the future? The main benefit for the passengers uh, is a wait time. They wait considerably less than they would have waited for a bus. Um, they love the technology. They love the, they love the experience of the transport. They get to their destination when they want to get to their destination. Uh, and they are travelling in their own pod, in their own comfort or with comfort. Um, and um, they tell us consistently that the experience is an excellent one. Could you just choose one? An airport environment is one thing, but what would be the obstacles in transferring this to an urban environment and could Ultra PRT export this technology overseas? There are a number of challenges that come with um, an urban environment that are different to an airport environment, but there are also a number of significant opportunities associated with it as well. And one of the great attributes that personal rapid transit brings really is, is the last mile connector, if you like. The, it provides the missing link that's often um, lets a lot of transport hubs down, in effect. So the proximity effects, for example, so the, 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 the land value, the increase in land value that can be associated with being within a few minutes of a transport hub is the sort of benefit that we'd be looking to to derive through a personal rapid transit system. The pods are manu were manufactured by a company called ARC, who are a prototype manufacturer of vehicles uh, based in Basildon. The reason for that is that this is the first production system and we're making a small volume, so 21 of. So uh, essentially the detailed design of the pods happened in parallel with the manufacture of this first batch. The system is designed as an urban transport system. It happens to be at Heathrow because they had a specific problem and they were willing to take the risk on implementation of the first system. But in terms of the design concept and where our founder Martin Lowson started from, he looked at urban congestion as a problem and thought, I can, I can help with this and tried to design uh, additional capacity for the urban environment, which reused vehicles, took congestion off the roads. So the, the system design is all about the urban environment. It's about that last mile, last couple of miles solution to integrate the feeder uh, systems of trains, buses, etc., and help people <coughs> get the last, uh, the la take the last part of their journey in comfort. In terms of exporting the technology to other countries, the technology is designed in such a way that it's scalable for system size. What we would do and what we plan to do is the system design and we've already undertaken the high-level system designs for a few systems but essentially we do the system design and we own the uh, detailed design for things like the vehicle and the, the specifications for guideway and uh, station equipment and so on and therefore <coughs> what, we, what we will do is the system engineering of, and the high-level system design and then the detailed design, the uh, civil infrastructure the architecture will all be outsourced in country and so <coughs> we'll also license the detailed design of the pods themselves so that they can be manufactured abroad because one of the big things that we're finding is people need local content of, of systems and some of, in some countries, Brazil is an example, import duties on products is very high which makes systems less affordable.